Good morning everyone, welcome back to my vlog channel, or should I say good afternoon actually. My voice is just not working today. If you watched my last vlog you will have seen that my voice is going, I don't know why, I think I had a little bit of a cold now, I don't actually feel ill, but the only thing is I woke up, like keep waking up with a sore throat, and my voice is just non-existent. So, today is in fact my birthday, I'm 20 years old, it's now in the afternoon, like we've done the birthday part, I've been born now. I spent the entire morning editing up my main channel video which went up on my actual birthday, and I vlog that went up on my birthday, it's now like half past three in the afternoon. Literally just sat on the floor eating some monster munch. I don't really celebrate my birthday too much I feel like we're pretty boring when it comes to stuff like this mom, aren't we? I feel like we don't really do birthdays and stuff. We don't really do much I'm going to the cinema later. We're probably gonna go out for a meal and stuff me my mom dad and my brother But right now we just sat in my brother's bedroom We've been building this one and the wardrobes are up. I've been editing I've got my work done and now like I said just chilling on the floor with some monster munch So I wanted to vlog my birthday, you know I wanted to vlog like going out for a meal and stuff. I also I'm gonna the cinema with Ella and Megan so I wanted to vlog that as well. That's what I'm doing. But right now I'm gonna continue eating my crisps Ow! and continue building. All right, so a little update on the bedroom situation. It's like two hours later. The bed is up, as you can see. We just brought the mattress upstairs and while well, the bed is smaller than a double bed. So basically it's a double bed, including the headboard and then this piece. So obviously without that on, it's just not long enough. So the mattress that my mom bought, which is for a double bed, doesn't fit on this bed. So I don't really know what's happening with that. My voice is progressively, well, it feels like it's getting worse. I don't know why. Like I said earlier, I don't know why my voice is doing this. I literally never ever lose my voice. Even even when I go to a concert. The only time I've ever ever lost my voice apart from now is when I went and saw Shawn Mendes which is obviously understandable. I never get cold and lose my voice like that's not a part of me getting ill. So I don't really know what's happening. I also don't feel ill which is really great like I can't complain about that. However, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I'm currently stood at the end of the bed what's not made. I don't know what more we can do to this bedroom. The TV and stuff obviously would need to be mounted on the wall. However, my brother's been really fancy and bought himself this really fancy bed. That actually, let me show you. You lift this little compartment up. Up, press this and then the TV's gonna come out <laughs> from under the bed like I don't know who my brother thinks he is these days like he's got a job now he's literally 16 I can't push it back down this bitch is getting fancy ass beds like this like who in the actual world does he think he is I have no idea <laughs> hi oh. <laughs> Bye. Right, what are you two doing now? It's my birthday, dogs. All right, they don't give a shit. It's my birthday, Bernie. <laughs> There's gonna be a fight any minute, I just know it. Right, so even though I did turn 20 today, obviously because I've got a sore throat and stuff, my mum went out and got me some Calpol melts because I can't take tablets because I'm literally a pussy. I just can't for some reason swallow them. I literally, it's gross, but I have to chew the tablet in my mouth. No matter what tablet it is. No matter what tablet it is, I literally just have to chew it. What is wrong with the dog? Anyway, so my mum went out and got me these because she we were going through the fact that I was literally chewing paracetamol, so she got me some cowpaw, and now I feel like a kid again. Um, it says six years plus. That's definitely me. Hi, um, so it's like a week later since I filmed this clip. In fact, like, it probably is more than a week later. In fact, it's a week and one day after my birthday now. I'm back in London, back in my house. But I didn't actually realize that I vlogged, or at least I forgot I vlogged. I was literally just importing some footage from my SD card. And I realized that I have clips from my birthday that I completely forgot I even had, which is obviously why I didn't get it up sooner. I don't really have many clips, which is why this vlog's kind of all over the place so far. Because obviously it was my birthday, I wasn't really thinking about vlogging. One minute, Fred's ringing me. Back to what I was saying, I didn't film much. One, because it was my birthday. Two, because I just didn't really do anything. And then this happened. And then this is the reason I want to upload this vlog. Because I want to keep these next few clips as like memories. So enjoy. It's fun. It's really fun. I am so buzzing oh my god this has not just actually happened right so my brother's so confused with the front of the car right now right so we just literally got in the car we're gonna go to ikea to get my brother a mattress i literally just went on instagram and i'm f***ing verified on instagram is this a joke on oh my birthday are you actually fucking kidding me this is so so dumb and like but like please answer oh my god please answer i'm actually having a heart attack i need to get in contact with Hazan Anna. Oh! <laughs> Oh, oh my, my god. god, I'm actually so gassed. All right, but this has been my actual like happy birthday <laughs> This is stuff. best birthday present actually I just really Hello, need to... Right, will one of you just go on my Instagram on your phone? Are you verified? Right, just go on my Instagram Happy birthday! 
Alright, so it is a little while later now since I've actually filmed anything. The last clip you'll have seen is me freaking out about being verified on Instagram. It's been literally like 45 minutes since that happened. I basically was getting in the car to go to Ikea and I checked my phone just on Instagram, you know, as you do. I literally just went on and saw that I had a tick next to my name and I literally freaked out, jumped out of the car and I was like, oh my god, what the hell? My mum was saying, what are you screaming at? What is all this? Like, blah, blah, blah. I was trying to ring everyone. No one was ringing the phone. No one really seems to care apart from me. I don't know. It's really fun and fresh, you know. I rang Anna and everyone. Oh, the last clip you'll have seen was me ringing Anna. However, now it's a little while later. Me and Ella are just sat. Ooh. Me and Ella are just sat in the car. She's currently in McDonald's because we're going to go to the cinema. Hi. Hi. You're like Shakira today. So I've just realized, literally put my camera away and everything, just sat on my phone. And I was like, oh shit, did I even explain in the last clip what I even were going to say in my vlog? Anyway, we're now at the cinema. We're going to watch a film called Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Obviously, Desiree's coming to watch it as well. Well, yeah, that's the situation. I'm mean, verified on Instagram. Wow. Ha. Got myself some little snacks to go into cinema with. I love these, but they're so expensive. Right, so we've come into the cinema now, but there's well, literally no one honest. else in the cinema. It's not been like cleaned out. There's lots of people sat outside, but we just came in anyway because we dumb. But there's literally no one in here, so I'm... People are coming in. False alarm. Good red. <laughs> It is a few days since my birthday now. Today is Monday, my birthday on Friday. And as you can see, I'm currently in my new room. I know I filmed a lot in here. However, it's pretty much done. There's still a few things that need sorting. So I'm going to give you a little update on it. There is still some things that need sorting, but it looks massively different to when I first started vlogging when I first came home. So I think it'll be interesting for you to see. So, as you can see when you walk in the door, this is what you see. We have a new radiator on the wall with a little mirror moment. This is actually my bed, which is actually a sofa bed. So when I'm not here, my brother's just going to have a sofa in his room. And it's a really nice sofa as well. It's like a grey colour. It matches the bed frame. But this is currently my bed. As you can see we've only had single beds at home so I only have like pillars for a single bed so obviously it will have four pillars on in the end just we're just bearing with it at the moment and then as you come over here this is my brother's new bed. Now the sofa is like this sort of fabric and this sort of colour. My brother again only has single pillars on his bed because like I said I'm not really used to having a double bed so we've only got those pillars. He then has a little bedside table. Also I almost put all the washing out in here just because there's a big space. It doesn't look too big on camera but this space is big enough to do washing and nowhere in the house right now has space. So my brother's bed, then he's going to have a sofa there. And then we have the new wardrobes, as you can see. I'm currently um, in my underwear, so we're not going to film too much in here. But this side is my brother's side. And then I've organized my side so nice. There's literally nothing in here. I just unpacked my suitcase. But this is what my wardrobe's looking like. I wish my wardrobe in London were this nicely organized. It's all color coordinated. My mom actually made me save my blazer that I wore to prom. Just in case my brother ever needs it and he wouldn't put it in his wardrobe. So here it is in mine. I've colour coordinated everything. It's all nice and sorted. We've got a suitcase up there. And then the bottom bit is really coordinated as well. We've got my jewellery, my bags, my hats. My toiletries all in there as well. And then down here we have my shoes in this drawer and my underwear. And then in the bottom drawer we have my trousers. I wish in London my wardrobe had these compartments because that would be so fun. I just think it looks so much nicer, all nice and organised. Obviously my little baby over there as well. I just realised in the last clip I kept looking at myself in the viewfinder and thinking why do I look different? Like what is different? Because I've literally got no jewellery on. I forgot all my moisturizers and stuff back in London so my skin right now as you can probably see is um not the best because all my skincare routine is currently in London so my skin's been awful. I actually love the fact that this bed's got like a frame that I can sit my camera on not that I'm gonna be um ever home that much but it's kind of fun for when I am home. I finished watching the entirety of 13 Reasons Why season 3. I kind of wish I binge watched it. Like, I remember all the other seasons I binge watched and like literally watched in like two days. However, this one I watched over the course of like a week maybe. But in and out that I was like on my phone during some episodes and stuff like that. I, ne I didn't really like devote my time to watching it. I kind of wish I did, but then I also kind of got it ruined anyway, basically. I went on Twitter and someone basically just ruined the entire plot before I'd even started watching it. That's always fun and fresh. I avoided spoilers without even realising for like a week because I didn't even realise the new one came out yet. And then I literally tweeted saying, oh my god, the new 13 Reasons Why is out. No one told me. And someone replied back with the entirety of the spoilers. So I think because I already knew what happened in the end and I already knew basically who killed Bryce, I, um, the entire thing for me was just like, yeah, I already know what's coming. So all the twists and turns where it tries to make you believe it's everyone other than the person that it is. I weren't believing because obviously I knew that it weren't the people that it was saying it was. So I kind of like lost interest in it. Although it is really, really good. I really like it. I think this season is better than the last one. I think the last one was too like 
politically trying to be correct because of the backlash that the first one got. However, I think this one is a lot more like the first one. I don't know, I really, really like this one and I like the little twists and turns because there's some things in there that I didn't expect, which is really, really cool. And it does actually really excite me for the next season because how they've left it, there's definitely going to be a next season. So I'm excited for that, but let me know in the comments if you've watched it or you're starting to watch it. Um, I want to know opinions. Don't leave any spoilers because we don't want to ruin it for anyone, but let me know if you were shocked by the outcome, like the ended. All right, so I'm all dressed and ready now, as you can see. I don't know what that is on the mirror. Where's it gone? This is from the packaging when it was on there, but this is currently what I'm wearing. Literally just got some off-white trousers on, some shoes, little white number, little white jumper, and then a little hat as well. I'm going to grab my bag as well with this. I'm literally wearing like pretty much all white apart from these trousers are like a creamy colour. But that's the situation. My jewellery is really dirty and it's really bugging me. I'm going to get my things together, pack my bag, and then we are going to leave and go for food. We're already running late, which is always good.